Good morning, my name is John Boyle. I'm the lead mechanical engineer and sector leader for turnstiles and gates here at Bunitum. Um, today we wanted to take you through some of our latest design upgrades to the turn lock. Uh, specifically, we'll be talking about the battery backup and the speed control. Um, the goal of this design project was to have a better user experience and better performance. It's also something that's easier and lighter to install for our field techs. So this is our old Turnlock 150. I'm going to spin it and you can see kind of the motion that it has with the speed control. You get a nice easy push and it dampens, but you get a little bit of that rocking at the end. Now some turnstiles don't have this issue, but they compensate with a stronger push through force, which is more difficult for the user. So we're going to go up top and uh, take a look at our mechanism and see what's causing that. So this is our current design of speed control. You can see it needs a wide channel. Um, we have the shock with our current, our old triangle. Uh, see it rests on a point. And as it rotates, it can kind of rock back and forth over that point, which causes the rocking of the arms down below for the user. So here we have our old electromechanical microswitches. Um, these switches are what lock and unlock the unit. Um, they also provide output signals to access control such as rotation detection and home position. The new design eliminates the need for actual switches with a one-piece board and magnet configuration. So this is our new design speed control. You can see when I push it, you get the same nice dampening, but you don't get the big rattle at the end of the rotation. So we're gonna take a look up top on this one and see what improvements we made. So the first thing you see here is that we have an eight inch wide top channel instead of an 18 inch wide top channel. That lets us save about 70 pounds of weight, which makes installation much easier. Now, as I spin the unit, you can see our new mechanism is able to rest off center of the triangle point, and that's what keeps a constant force on the actual mechanism, preventing it from rocking about the sharp point on the old triangle. You can also see our new sensor board, which takes the place of the switches. We've got one board now with some magnets embedded on this activator ring, and that's what controls the locking, unlocking, and output to access control. So what I've got in my hands right now is the newly designed battery backup system for the turn lock. This is an optional piece of equipment. What it does is let your turnstile keep running, keep letting people in and out when the power goes out. The benefits of the new design system is that it now fits in the narrow top channel. It's about half the size and half the weight of the old one, and it lasts double the amount of time. So where the old one would last two hours, this one lasts four. So to wrap things up today, we've got a new design that's retrofitable to existing top channels. We've got something that's lighter and easier to install. We've got something that's got better overall performance and a better user experience. If you have any questions about our new design, please don't hesitate to contact us. And I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Thank you.